Remember, the ruler of this world, the devil, wants us to work for him and live bitter, sad lives, separated from God. And we all do wrong things sometimes and deserve to die as punishment. So God sent his very own son to earth. He lived the perfect life we should have lived and died the awful death we should have died. But three days after he died, Jesus came back to life. That means he got rid of death and it can't separate us from God anymore. And you know what? Right before Jesus died, he celebrated Passover one last time, but without the lamb. See, Jesus showed us that he is our lamb. And just like the lambs died so that the sons could stay with their families, Jesus died so that we can be part of God's family. One day he'll recreate a perfect home for us and it'll be even better than the promised land. And that's the story of Passover. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God's family was miserable. They begged God for help. God planned a rescue. Pharaoh said no. God showed his power. The oldest sons had to die. Lambs took their place. God rescued his family. They celebrated Passover. Death was our punishment too. God sent his son. He took our place. God rescued us. And that's a part of God's story. Thank you.